Aloha, I'm Beach T. Weston, and this cutie pie is Oliver. Welcome to our little piece of Hawaiian paradise, where I write the Just Beachy column, a column dedicated to inspire discussion, to encourage a compassionate relationship with yourself, others, animals, and our beautiful earth. And it's always sprinkled with a little bit of light humor and fun. Today I bring to you my latest column titled Flip-Flop Intuition. Many of us enjoy an evening walk with our beloved doggies. It's a time when the chaos of the day has settled. We relax and enjoy the pleasantries of the night. A warm summer breeze helps heighten our senses as we listen to the soothing night music, an orchestra of creatures each flawlessly synchronized with perfect pitch. On one such evening, I was partaking in a stargazing stroll with my tail-wagging friend, Oliver. We were as happy as a pig in the poppies as he tinkled on one of his favorite palm trees. Both of us content. Everything was tickety-boo. While I was admiring the constellations, and how their sparkle complemented the palm tree's rustling fronds, I tripped. In a flash, I was a meteor streaming at high speed. Stars haloed around my head as I landed hard on my derriere. It was one of the few times I was glad there was a bit of extra padding in that area. Oliver immediately left his tree and came to my side in desperate need of assurance that I was okay. I wiggled my legs and arms, my hands and toes. The verdict, I was fine. A bit sore, but in working order. We slowly walked home, dumbfounded by my tumble and unaware I had broken my left foot and right hand. Not a clever combination. Now this story is not about boo-hoos for beach, but rather intuition, which is often referred to as our sixth sense, a hunch or a gut feeling. It's the inkling to take action or not to take action, to take a certain path or to avoid a certain path. Our intuition frequently calls out for our attention, unfortunately often ignored as we continue on our life's path, indifferent to our intuition's wisdom. Perhaps if I'd listened to my intuition, I could have avoided or lessened the mishap experienced on that stargazing night and the challenges that followed but I didn't listen. I ignored my intuition when I was guided, over a year ago, to throw out my clumsy flip-flops, slip as they are referred to in Hawaii. And I didn't listen to my intuition that night when I was guided to wear my sturdy tennis shoes and bring the one thing I always carry when the sun sets, a flashlight. Also, perhaps if I had begun Tai Chi, which was on my I'll get to it someday list, I could have harnessed the universe's energy, as did Kung Fu Panda, and spun through the air with precision and safely landed like a cat on a hot tin roof. But I didn't listen. Why don't we listen to our intuition? The outside world often pulls us away from listening to our inner guidance that sweet, caring little voice. Phone calls, texts, the world's political issues, there's an endless list of distractions that takes us away from living in the moment, being present in spirit, body, and mind. Maybe we are so busy rushing through life that we don't hear our sweet, caring little voice calling to us, don't go down that road, or take care of that festering problem, or replace your old, worn-out flip-flops. When we choose not to listen to our intuition's wise, sage advice, just remember, there will more than likely be an eye-opening life lesson waiting for you to learn, taking you on a roller coaster ride that will make you scream. Your sweet, caring little voice doesn't want that for you. It wants you to avoid having your life turned upside down. If I could replay that particular night and my intuition suggested I wrap myself in bubble wrap encased by plate armor, 
would I have listened? Probably not. However, today, I would listen to my intuition's insight and I'd gladly use every roll of bubble wrap I could find no matter how ridiculous I looked. Let's not fall on deaf ears. Please listen to your intuition. Be aware of your feelings and thoughts. Be a conscious observer. This profound practice will help you avoid challenging circumstances that can bring you, figuratively and literally, to your knees. Or in my case, my bum. Listening to that sweet, caring little voice in your head will always lead you down the right path. In peace, love, and throwing away the old flip-flops. Beach. Mahalo. Thank you for joining me on my creative journey. Please subscribe, thumbs up, or in Oliver's case, paw up. And as we say in Hawaii, ahui ho, until we meet again.